Hey everyone, so I'm just getting a few things done at my bank here before I head back to Vietnam. And I remember that one of the things that people ask a lot is how to open a bank account in Vietnam and how to do all your banking, get money home, get money into the country. So I thought I'd do a quick video to cover all that good stuff. So the first thing you want to do is just have a bank account in your home country with money in it, with a Visa or MasterCard that you can bring over to Vietnam with you. Have some funds in that account and then you can just draw funds from ATMs in Vietnam and that's pretty simple and easy so don't worry too much about getting money into the country. Just got some coffee before a gym workout here. The ATM fees in Vietnam aren't too bad usually you're looking at about 35 or 40 thousand dong and that's under two US dollars per each time you withdraw. Just look out for some ATMs only that you draw about 2 million dong which is less than $100 each time and then you'd pay that fee each time you withdraw. So look out for ATMs that have higher withdrawal. I normally go to ANZ which is 5 million and then that way you can uh, not pay too much in fees. So the first thing that you should know is Vietnam is a very cash based culture. So drawing money from ATMs and using that everywhere is the way to go. People don't really pay with cards for things and some schools are going to pay you in cash. So that might seem a little bit crazy to get your salary in cash, but there are a lot of schools that do that. So you may actually get paid in cash. All right, so what are your options for when you get paid to get your money out of the country, which is what most people are concerned about. So if you do come over and you get hired and get a work permit, then you can open a bank account and transfer money to an international bank account. So you can get money out of the country by opening bank accounts. Now, not all schools will give you a work permit and I've made a video about how to get a work permit. I'll link to that in the description below so that you can get more information on that and watch it, how to get the work permit. But essentially if you get hired and you get a work permit from your school, it's very likely that those are the kinds of schools that will help you to open a bank account with your work permit. So from everything we've heard at Ninja Teacher and talking to hundreds of teachers, you have to have a work permit to open a bank account. Maybe some people get around it, find other ways to do it, but this is the standard is to have a work permit. So there's pretty much no other way to open a bank account and get money out of the country through international transfers from a bank account other than that. So opening a bank account pretty much comes down to getting hired by a school that will assist you with a work permit and then will help you to open the bank accounts. So what can I say about optimizing the chances of getting a job at one of these schools and how do you know which school will help you with that? Well, the bigger schools, the top schools in Vietnam do things by the books. They will get your work permit and they'll help you with the whole process of opening a bank account. So they'll take care of all the details and that's why you know you just have to focus on getting the best job you can and hope that it's one of those schools that will help you with that process. Now, how do you make sure that you can get a job there? Well, as I mentioned in like all my other videos, uh, to get a work permit, you need a bachelor's degree and you need to be from a native English speaking country for the most part. And most importantly, over and above that, is to get a well recognized teacher English certification, such as a four week long fully in class TEFL course or CELTA course. And a lot of the top schools won't consider you if you only have an online TEFL. So that's why we always talk about it. It's so important to get a good job that you have a good quality training and that will allow you to get a job at one of these schools that will assist you with all the, the details to do with opening a bank account. I think gone are the days where just having an online TEFL and no previous teaching experience, schools are gonna jump at hiring you. I mean, you gotta demonstrate that you can actually perform in the classroom and do well. So we recommend to everyone now that they should do an in-class course. First and foremost, that's the best thing. Then when it comes to opening the actual bank account, from what I've heard, it's fairly straightforward. Just taking your work permit, going to the bank and opening the accounts. Not a very complicated process. Usually the school that you work with will have their bank that they work with and they'll probably do most of the legwork for you even. Uh, I've heard of schools pretty much taking care of the whole thing, but uh, that depends on the school that you end up with. All right, so that's the best case scenario. 
But what if you don't have a bachelor's degree? What if you get a job with a smaller school and they can't assist you with the work permit because it's just a lot of admin to get through and it's a hassle for both you and the school? What if the school pays you in cash? Well, there are certain things that people do. Just a quick disclaimer with this. This is all just stuff I've heard of people doing. I do recommend you follow any local laws with regard to this. One of them being is if you're paid in cash, uh, you go across the border to Cambodia and Western Union money home. That's what some people do. You can take a bus over to Cambodia and that's like a six hour bus. A lot of people do that uh, because you can't Western Union money home without a work contract uh, and a work permit. I don't know, like people have tried to Western Union from Vietnam, but they don't like you sending money out of the country without some kind of proof uh, of, of that work permit. So that's what some people do. Some people get other people to PayPal the money home and then pay them cash. I've heard of some gold shops doing this in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. So you just go in there, pay them cash and they'll send you money to a PayPal account. So I've heard. And uh, another thing that could work very well for you is I know there's a lot of online entrepreneurs or some people call them digital nomads that have the reverse problem. They don't want to pay the fees to withdraw money in Vietnam. And they would be quite happy to accept cash from you and maybe PayPal you or transfer you money uh, back home if you say that you'll pay for the fees or something like that, then it's a win-win situation. I do think that Vietnam's still trying to catch up with the great demand for foreign English teachers, so hopefully they'll work on making the process of opening bank accounts, getting work permits and all of that easier and more effective and give us more information so that we can actually uh, tell you because it is all pretty unclear and we just do the best we can with trying to go through the process of uh, you know getting everything sorted out so that when you're teaching and earning your salary uh, you know that you can use that and get it home if need be. All right if you have any questions leave them below if you have any tips on this I'm sure other people would appreciate it so leave a comment and until the next video I'll speak to you soon. Peace.